Well, he was internationally known for his style of Hawaiian music and was also a bandmaster for the Royal Hawaiian Band. SKATV4's Ann Sterling shows us 70 years after he died, Mikia Keala Kai was remembered at a special ceremony. It's all new tonight at 6. <laughs> He was one of the most famous Hawaiian musicians of all time. And on this cloudy morning at Diamond Head Memorial Park, the Royal Hawaiian Band played music composed by Makia Kealakai in his honor. I got goosebumps in almost every single song. Uh, to think that we get a chance to come back to, to mark a grave from a gentleman that gave so much to Hawaiian music uh, via his innate ability, his learned ability, his travels, and to come full circle and uh, allow me to be a part of this in some way and play his music today just touched me and uh, gave me goosebumps when he did. Makia died on March 31st, 1944, 70 years ago today. And for 70 years, he's been in an unmarked grave at Diamond Head Memorial Park until now. We're not sure exactly why. The key also, though, was to match his wife's because we didn't want it to look like an afterthought. And so it's very close in matching um, his wife's headstone as well. So we are ever so proud to be able to have done this and we're happy that the people came. We're all connected to Makia, you know, and the band itself. Makia was voted into the Hawaiian Music Hall of Fame and became an international influence of Hawaiian music. His ohana, the Royal Hawaiian Band, says he will never be forgotten. Because it's not always easy to perform in the rain, but the weather held out. And I think there was a blessing from above to thank us for a man that uh, gave, gave so much. And to see so many people here to honor him and, and what he gave to Hawaiian music is a joy. It's a, it's a privilege to be here. It really is. He was with the band for 40 years. I mean, how much dedication is that? Ann Sterling, KITV 4 News.